Hey guys, Tanner here. So this is how to find a coolant leak really quick. Uh, this is a radiator up here. All right, this is your radiator, and this is an upper radiator hose, and this is a lower hose, right? Uh, these are very important areas where it could be leaking because these clamps that go from the hose to the radiator, um, those could be loose. So just make sure those are very tight, and um, you know you haven't cut the tube or anything like that, but just make sure they're tight. Uh, because it might look like it's leaking down the radiator all the way down to the you know the fan and all that sort of stuff, but it might just be uh, the tube is loose. So it could be leaking here in the radiator. If it's in bad shape, that's a surefire way to tell. Uh, I'll show you a picture of that in just a second. It could be the the water pump right here. That's that dark green area. That is very important. It most likely would be leaking a lot if it's coming from there. Um, but like I said, those clamps over even on this side of the engine as well, where it clamps to the engine is very important. Now over here, the heater core, uh, if you're, if the inside of your cab, you know, cabin where you're seated is if it smells like coolant inside when the heat's on, that's most likely the heater, uh, hoses or the heater core is leaking inside. Um, especially if your floor mats are wet, uh, that's a surefire way to tell that the heater core is it. Uh, but over here, if you take off the the um, the belt, the serpentine belt, then you can move the pulleys and try to move them. And if they have any play in them, um, you know, some have very very minuscule. But if it has enough play, uh, it can not only make the belt squeak, but also if especially the water pump, if that's has play in it, it can leak as well. Uh, so there's two areas. Um, uh, kind of three here. So there's the radiator in front, right? And then there's the water pump, but that would be pretty significant water or uh, coolant coming out. And then there's the inside over here. But uh, make sure that your connections are tight because it could be leaking from the top where it connected here uh, down through the radiator, making it look like the radiator is bad. So, and you don't want to replace a not bad radiator. That's what it, uh, one looks like. A good one on the right, bad one on the left, right? I mean, you can just tell the difference. This has holes and it's gross. So uh, this is a water pump right here, the orange thing. It's right in the middle, right behind the radiator. Uh, it is most likely your car is going to be overheating and um, all that sort of stuff. If And you'll be losing a lot of coolant uh, if that's the case. This is what it looks like. That's what a water pump looks like without the fan. And then with the fan on, that's boom right there. So uh, if it's leaking from the front over here, you can kind of tell. Uh, or if it's leaking back here, then that's the water pump right there. Uh, and then, like I said, inside the cab would be um, the smell or anything else like that. So it uh, would be the heater core. So <clears throat> the upper radiator hose, the lower radiator hose, uh, I'll show you a, a visual that I drew some beautiful beautiful artwork. This is the upper radiator hose and this is the lower and Then there's the trans cooler line. So there's only four things, right? There should be at least sometimes they don't even have the trans cooler lines, but there's only There's there's a radiator itself If it's in good shape great Then you check the hoses the upper one then the lower one and make sure that the clamps there uh, that go onto the radiator are tight uh, and that the hoses are still in good shape because it might be leaking right there, but just make sure uh, And then normally there's only four Bolts that hold on the radiator. So it's actually extremely easy to take out uh, So four bolts take off the hoses of course and then the trans cooler lines are super simple uh, if you want to replace that but Hopefully it's just one of the hoses that are leaking, but uh, also check the condition of the radiator, like I said. Um, any questions, comments, please, you're invited to put them on. Uh, and then just let me know what you'd like me to put up next, as you know, as well as any, any information that you guys are uh, or have for me. I'm always open to talking. So thank you, and have a great day. Bye.